I'm Reina Reyes, and I'm a scientist. The thing about science is that we discover these theories that explains the world uh, around us, and they work remarkably well. Like they can make make predictions. Gravity in Einstein's universe is the curvature of space-time. So space itself can curve, and then objects with mass just follow that curvature. The image is you have a, a rubber sheet, and you have a ball uh, in the middle, it curves the sheet. And then if you have a small marble, it follows the curvature of the sheet, and it goes around the bigger uh, ball. So that's gravity, and that's why, for example, the moon goes around the Earth, and the Earth goes around the Sun. In, in Newton's um, theory of gravity, you have two masses, then there's, there's a force that attracts uh, them, right? And then we, when you go out and measure, for example, how if uh, you drop something, you drop a ball, it drops at a certain velocity and a certain acceleration, so it goes faster and faster. That speed through the fall is predicted precisely by, by Newton's uh, laws. When you go now to the regime where gravity is stronger, then Newton starts to break down. Newton's laws theory starts to break down, and Einstein's theory gives you the better predictions, or, or in fact, uh, precisely the right predictions. One of the famous ones is um, the precession of the orbit of Mercury. So Mercury orbits around the Sun, and uh, in Newton's theory, then that orbit should be a perfect ellipse. So it's uh, just a squashed circle and it goes uh, around um, forever. But what was measured is actually that the orbit doesn't close but precesses. So meaning it doesn't close but this ellipse uh, gets slanted over time. So it makes this orbit over time. So in that sense, Einstein's theory and better predicts that, but Newton's uh, theory doesn't. And in the case of Einstein's theory, the idea one regime where it hasn't been tested yet is on large scales. And by large, meaning cosmological scales, the scales, the distances uh, between galaxies. So essentially the scale of the universe. Galaxy surveys, a galaxy survey that was done, particularly the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, and that's what we used in our study, so we studied, uh, we analyzed around 70,000 galaxies, see how they're distributed, see their uh, effects on, there's something called the gravitational lensing effect, so how the masses bend light. By measuring these things and comparing it with the prediction from Einstein's theory, we test if, if the theory and the observations match. And we found out that they do. Within the margins of error, I assume within the uncertainty of of what we measured, let's say this is the error bar, this is the measurement. It's here, but it can be here, it can be here because of the errors. Einstein's theory prediction is somewhere in, inside this. The question is, in science, we want to test the theories uh, we know because even if they're great, just like Newton's theory was great, no? and Einstein's theory is, is great, we know that there can be another theory that will be discovered in the future that will supersede the current theory. That's how science progresses.